look what I got behind me in stencil white. Absolutely amazing. Royal Enfield. Shotgun 650. Okay, they told us we can take this thing to the next town and back. Let's go see what we can do. Look at that, look at that, huh, huh, huh? No problem at all, 57.7 inch wheelbase. I think that's 1,466 millimeters. It handles really well. It is definitely more sports bike than it is cruiser. Shifts are sharp and fast. I like that. Six B transmission, 648 CC, parallel twin, air cooled, oil cooled, single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. About 47 horsepower, 38, 39 foot-pounds of torque, about 52 newton meters, 53 newton meters. Loads of power. I love the dash on these. I've talked about that before. I call it the Oculus. Got an analog speedometer on the outside. The inside there's an LCD with a digital fuel gauge along the top. Always visible gear shifter on the right center. Always visible clock in the left center. Hey, look at this curve. Wahoo! <laughs> what do you do in a curve? Well, you give it the gas, right? Beautiful, beautiful running machine. I'm not a bar end mirror kind of guy, but these work very well. Hey, there is Iowa's busiest intersection, and there's actually a little bit of traffic here today. Ha <laughs> ha! I just got to throw this in. This thing handles like an interceptor. It's got very nimble handling. I don't think it's quite as nimble as an interceptor, but it does very well. Really enjoying it. I feel like I have awesome control with the sitting position. I feel like I'm farther forward. And I feel like I'm over the bars a little more. You know what? Let's go on a little bit of a field trip here. This on the left is one of Iowa's largest ethanol plants. There are four bins there. Each one of those bins will hold two million, that's over a hundred million pounds of corn. Two million bushels of corn. That's over a hundred million pounds of uh, corn in each one of those bins when they're full. Those bins are never full and never empty. The corn just continuously flows through. The ethanol is trucked out on uh, train carts right here. These kind of a tanker things, or they just go on. If you look over yonder, you can see they just go on forever. Now, let's get out of here. We don't want to be uh, ran over by some nifty truck, do we? <laughs> oh, this thing handles so well. What a machine, what a machine. Excellent, excellent thing. Truly a joy to ride hard. Beautiful. Railroad crossing. Low clearance, 14 foot six. Well, wasn't able to reach it. Atlantic, Coca-Cola capital of Iowa. <laughs> what a hoot, what a hoot. These stoplights have been flashing for as long as I can remember. There's a Green Bay Lumber Company building. Down here is the old Rock Island train station. Check that out, the railroad tracks behind them. On and on and on they go. Nifty little area. Hey, I never noticed these Coca-Cola trucks back here. Let's take a look at this. This bike handles really well. Look at that. All kinds of neat things back here. Holy moly, the things you find. <laughs> the mess I've gotten myself into, right? <laughs> look at this thing. It handles like a dream. This is a very nimble handling motorcycle. Very impressive, very impressive. Now, how did I get back here? <laughs> this is where Iowa's Coca-Cola is bottled right there, Atlantic Bottling Company. Look at that. Delicious, refreshing Coca-Cola. Drink Coca-Cola, relieves fatigue. Five cents. Wahoo. That is City Hall and the police station right there. Another old Coca-Cola ad right there. The office bar and grill. That's been out of business for years, but the uh, sign's still there, right there. It's really a very nimble handling machine. I really like its characteristics in town. Suspension on this hot rod is 43 millimeter fork tubes on the front, about 4.7 inches of travel. That's about uh, 120 millimeters. On the rear, it's got dual shocks with preload adjustment. It's about three and a half inches of travel. That's about 89 millimeters. Wet weight is about 529 pounds, or about 240 kilograms. Wheelbase 57.7 inches, 1,466 millimeters. Seat height 31.3 inches, 
that is 795 millimeters. It feels lower than that. It's a very, it's actually a very narrow bike. Boy, this thing is a real hoot to ride. I'm very impressed with it. I love its town characteristics. I mean, it, it just, it does this very well. It handles a lot like an interceptor. I don't want to say sportier. An interceptor is a very sporty machine handling wise, but it's very similar. I, I'll say that. How's that? There's the courthouse right there. This brake is 320 on the front with a dual piston caliper, Vibri. And on the rear, it is a 300 millimeter with a dual piston Vibri. Very good brakes on this. You know, when these bikes first came out, the uh, super meter, they talked about the brakes were inadequate. Well, I, I have a super meter and the brakes are more than adequate. I've got over 5,000 miles on it. They work fabulous. And this is in the same league, of course. So the big thing that really grabs me about this motorcycle, even before her looks, her looks are awesome, is the way it handles and performs, the way you feel riding it, the way it's so responsive and so nimble handling. I just did not expect that. You know, I own a super meter and this handles it a very different way. It's a totally different motorcycle than that. The throttle responds quite differently. The seating position and bike handling is superb. I knew I would like this. I just didn't realize how much of a thrill it would be. If you're anywhere in Iowa, get over to Baxter Cycle and check one of these out. You've got to see one. you got to ride one. Or go to BaxterCycle.com, check out what they have there. Another great big difference about the bike is the foot peg position. I have forward controls on my Super Meteor. I love it for the long rides. This is far more sporty with the uh, mid controls that it has. Running up this hill and around this curve, well, we can see for miles, except for that big truck. <laughs> That, my friends, is the mighty metropolis of Marnia, Iowa, a town that would fit on a postage stamp. Beautiful, beautiful. So once again, the big surprise, the biggest surprise is the handling and the performance and the braking. This thing is just fabulous. Of course, they're stunning good looks. The quality of the bed finish is, is, we'll go over that in a minute, but just absolutely amazing. I like the way this bike does everything so far. I'm absolutely amazed at this thing. It's not a touring bike, but it's an everything else bike. Let's see what kind of a spin we can do here. Hey, I went a little long, didn't I? Well, that's my fault. When you make your way to the mighty metropolis of Marnia, Iowa, make you sure you get yourself over here to the derailed grill right there. Try their Wahoo Burger. <laughs> a little wheel spin there. <laughs> just a fabulous machine. I've just thoroughly enjoyed it. Something I want to finish up with here is the quality. Everything is another step higher, and that's traditional for Royal Enfield. Everything is another level of quality up, you know? This gray, the cast aluminum in the cell, the way the paint is, it's, it's just fabulous. Beautiful machine. If you all are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to the mighty mini metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell those folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, it's a gorgeous day out here. I've had a wonderful time riding motorcycles, but I do have another motorcycle to ride. Get yourselves out there and ride, my friends. Life is grand. Wahoo!